first thing. First thing, I promise to you that I will use the Constitution as my guidebook and voting laws for you. Number two, fair tax. Most people, most conservatives love it. Some people hate it. Most people don't even know what it is. It's not even brought to the floor to debate for the House of Representatives. Now, liberals, liberals by definition don't want to be confused by the facts. I say, I think they're a former Republican. Let's get the fair tax to the floor. Let's get it debated, talked about, looked at. If it's not fair, we don't have to vote yes, but we at least need to vote on it, at least need to look at it. My pledge to you is that every bill I touch the first year, if I am fortunate enough to represent this district, every bill I touch, whether it's sponsor, co-sponsor, or walk by and touch, I will put an amendment to, to bring that to the floor for discussion. If I don't do that in my first term, then I will not run for re-election. Number two, I'm going to introduce the Liberty, Liberty Recovery Act of 2011. It will, it, will, it will be a bill to repeal the laws that were put in place by the liberals and Democrats who are trying to sell our children into chains that leads to slavery. That includes a health care bill, which, by the way, if it's enacted, won't go, depending on what version, won't go into effect until about 2014. Taxes will start now, won't go into effect until 2014. That means it will be easier to repeal. Second of all, do it with cap and trade. I know with all the heat we've been having lately, it's easy to believe in global warming. <laughs> you, you, win. you win just came out with a study saying they think we're now in for 30 years of a mini ice age. Now, I don't, I, don't, I don't care that the liberals are confused, but until we know what's really happening for sure, I don't want their fantasy to interfere with my reality. The reality is I don't want to pay increased taxes to pay the third world country just because we were successful and we started so-called global warming. Therefore, we had to double our electric bill to give us a cap and trade that, by the way, is in, is in operation in Europe and it is, it is one of the biggest scams, one of the biggest sources of fraud. It does not reduce greenhouse gases. It, all it does is increase electric bill and increase taxes. Finally, I'm going to look for ways we can reduce and slash this federal uh, bill. I was reading this, up, this information the other day. Uh, our federal government spends $28 million a year subsidizing low hair. Why? Because there was a time when we, when we made our uniform, military uniforms, from mohair, and the government wanted to make sure that the uniforms were affordable. We have not had a uniform made from mohair since the Korean War. But every year, we automatically, without review, give $28 million to mohair, including there's 240 educational programs, 342 economic development programs, and 71 business support programs that have no annual review. Now, if I was as smart as uh, McCadden, I probably would have memorized that list. But <laughs> I believe, really, he's got a mind like a you know, steel trap. Mine just rusted shut. But. <laughs> I believe uh, Ronald Reagan said that uh, we have a right to dream heroic dreams, and why can't we believe that way? We are Americans. Uh, I, I believe in this election, when we look at our leadership in Congress, I believe, first of all, that we can do better. I also believe that we must do better, but I also believe with this group of candidates that we will do better. Thank you. Questions, yes, no, yes, three, and okay, go ahead.